Hey friends, welcome back to Booked and Rooted. Today I'm just coming to you with a plant haul. Um, some of these plants you may have seen in another video, but I just kind of want to bring all the plants together that I have got recently into a haul. I'm also going to be doing some repotting and chit-chatting. So, I thought that'd be fun to just come on and kind of hang out, chit-chat with you guys, repot some plants, kind of explain what I'm doing, things of that nature. So, if you're interested, keep watching. So, my haul um, actually includes several different orders from several different places because I already had a kind of an unboxing haul recently. But there is a couple that I did, was not able to get in that haul because I had not got them yet. So I'm going to just show you those plants and go over those, what they are, what my plan is with them, yada, yada, yada. So the first plant I want to discuss is the philodendron Brazil. Now, the reason why I got this plant is because... The hanging basket that I got from Home Depot, if you watched my other video, you know that that was a little bit of a debacle. So that hanging basket, what I want to do is I'm going to repot that. That's going to be one of my repots today. I'm going to repot that, split it up because, like I said, it's two different plants in there. Um, I'm going to put the heart-shaped philodendron that's in there into my actual heart-shaped philodendron pot that I already have. And then I'm going to put this in that pot all together along with another cutting that I've had for a long time that was doing really great but I broke it. <laughs> long story. I don't even want to get into that. But anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing. So I got this uh, philodendron Brazil. Now this is a philodendron Brazil as you can see. This is a full philodendron Brazil unlike the other one. This plant is from Houseplant Shop. Um, it was $6.99. Um, they have some really cool plants on Houseplant Shop. I've never heard of Houseplant Shop until I joined a, a Facebook group, the um, Black Girls with Gardens um, Facebook Houseplant group. That's how I heard of it. I've never even heard of it. So I went and checked it out and I grabbed a couple things. The next plant I got from the same place. These are all from Houseplant Shop. I'm going to go over those plants first. I got this uh, Calathea. Now, Calathea was a plant that I had decided that I was never going to get again. However, um, I did a little bit of research, found out that this, this Calathea is supposed to be one of the easier Calatheas. And this is a Calathea Riffabarba. Um, this is so cool. Like the leaves feel like a blanket. They're like when you look at it, you would never think that the leaves were fuzzy, but they're really fuzzy and they feel like a blanket. They're so cool. And this one has a lot of new growth coming in. Um, this is a really good healthy plant. Like so far, the plants I got from um, plant house plant shop um, are, you know, a plus. Um, I don't have anything bad to say. They were well packaged, uh, very very well packaged. In fact, uh, they had like too much packaging on them. They were so well packaged, and um, they are healthy. Came in good shape. No soil all over the place. Yeah, I liked it. Um, as far as shipping is concerned. Um, Probably took like a week, almost a week. So that's fine with me. I don't have a problem with that. Um, I was supposed to get it on Thursday, but for some reason it got delayed and I didn't get it till Friday. But no big deal. As long as, you know, everything was moving, I don't have anything to say. I don't think that was their fault. I think it was something with the Postal Service because, of course, right now things are kind of crazy. So, um, but yeah, this is my other one. Oh, I wish you guys could feel this. If you don't have this plant, you don't know what I'm talking about. So, I, like I said, I wish you could feel this to feel how it feels. I mean, like, it almost feels like it's not even a real plant. Because it does not feel like a plant. Like plant leaves. All the whole leaf, the back and the front, is fuzzy. So cool. And my next plant, oh my god. <laughs> this one. Uh, I, I wasn't even expecting this. I don't know what I was, I don't know what I was thinking when I ordered this plant. Um, I guess I was, for some reason I was thinking it was on a totem pole. But I wasn't really paying attention, obviously, and when I got the plant, I was like, wow, this is amazing. Um, so, uh, okay, let me get to it. This is a Aurelia Fabian Stump. 
plant. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this thing. Like I'm, I was so impressed and I have decided to, I'm not going to repot it. And that's the same with my Calathea. I'm not planning on repotting these plants for quite some time unless I really, really have to. I'm going to see if that works better for me. There's been times where I'll repot a plant immediately and then it would just start dying. And I'm having that, I notice I have that problem a lot. So I'm going to see if it, you know, if there's, if I get different results from not repotting right away. So anyway, I'm not repotting this one. I decided to just stick it down in this decorative pot. And I put some, um, I top dressed it with some rocks. And, oh, it's just so gorgeous. Like, I, it's so big. I mean, you can see, if you look scale, my head compared to this plant. It's huge. And it looks so good to me in this pot. And it's just, oh. <sighs> You just don't know. Oh, God. So, um. This plant is different. I've never heard of this plant before, ever in my entire life. I don't think I've ever even seen this before. Um, so I need to do a little bit more research on it and find out exactly like what it likes and things like that. Um, I'm going to treat this, and I'm actually going to keep it in the same place that I keep my ponytail palm because they both have like this stump. So I'm just thinking that maybe they might like the same environment. And maybe I'll even possibly put it on the same watering schedule. But I'll have to see. I'm going to have to do some research and find out more about this plant. I looked up some YouTube on, on, you know, videos to see if anyone had anything. I saw one video, but I was, I was working, so I was not able to listen to it. So I'll have to go back and try to find that video and listen to it. Um, and just, you know, do some overall Googling on this plant. But yeah, just look at this. Look at that. And guys, if you know anything about this, um, Aurelia, am I saying it right? Let's see. Aurelia Fabian stump plant. Um, I guess the scientific name is a Polyseus. Polyseus? If you know anything about this, let me know. If you have one or have any experience with it, let me know. Because, um, yeah, it's very interesting. Very, very interesting. The leaves are like, the leaves almost remind me of like kale. Or like collard greens. Yeah, the leaves are like kind of weird. That was the thing that threw me off when I first unwrapped it. I was like, these are these leaves are weird. But then when I looked at the rest of it, I was like, this is this plant is awesome. Like, wow, okay. So that's enough about that. So on to the next plant. I got this plant from Home Depot. Um, I did an unboxing of this plant, and that is the autograph plant. Um scientific name I will put it down below but I don't remember what it was but this is excuse me this is the autograph plant and uh, I have decided also I'm not going to repot this I watered it put the stake in here so it kind of supports this one longer branch and I have it in a decorative pot as you can see it's here's the original pot and I'm just letting it hang out you know it seems happy um, I need to dust it off a little bit though but I'll get to that at some point and um, yeah, this is looks really good. Now this plant, like I said before, it reminds me of like three different plants. It reminds me of like a Hoya to an extent, a rubber tree, and even a, um, a pepperoni a little bit. Um, and what makes me really, what really reminds me of a rubber tree with it is the stalk. The way that the stalk is made. This really reminds me of what the rubber tree looks like. Um, and as far as what it likes and things like that. I'm going to do some research. I'm actually planning on doing a video where I'll tell a little bit more about the history of this plant. What I might do is combine both of these. This Fabian and the autograph plant and give a little bit of history, a little bit of information about the plant, what it likes. But I want to actually wait until I've actually had it for a little while so I can give you feedback on what I've experienced with the plant. And in my next plant, I got this one from um, bros with hose. Uh, found them on Instagram. It's um, a plant shop, and this is I've been wanting one of these so bad. I had one before, it didn't make it. I'm hoping that this one makes it. This is the um, ficus Audrey. Um, this is the one that has the fuzzy leaves. 
I do have a thing for plants with fuzzy leaves, I will be honest, because I love this plant. I love the fact that you can't tell the leaves are fuzzy until you touch it. I think that's really cool, and that's the same thing with the Calathea. Um, also, another plant I love that has kind of fuzzy leaves is the um, Scandapsis pictus, or whatever, the satin pothos, pretty much, or... And they call it, there's so many different names for it, I'm not even sure which one I have. Mine actually says, the label says Satin Pothos. But as we all know, close to farms, they never really correctly label their plants. So, I don't really know for sure exactly which one I do have. But anyway, it's beautiful and I love the foliage. Either all of them have the same, like, fuzzy foliage. So there's no change in that. But this baby is gorgeous. Now, again, this one is in a decorative pot. This is my plan. With all these new plants, I'm going to see how this works out. Um, instead of repotting them, I'm going to do, you know, leave them as they are, put them in a decorative pot, kind of let them hang out, keep an eye on them and see how well they do, versus other plants that I've immediately repotted. Now, some plants I will repot because I kind of have to. Um, like, I feel like I have to. Maybe I don't, but I feel like I have to. And those are going to be the plants that I will repot today when I do the repot and chit chat. And my next plant is, I did an unboxing of this on my um, Instagram, IGTV. Uh, this is the Green Magic Dumb Cane Diffenbachia, whatever you want to call it. I got this from Planetaria, I think, Plan, Plan, Plantarina, Plantarina, I think that's how you say it, or whatever, I'll link it down below, anyway. Um, look at this, look how gorgeous this is. I mean, this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous plant. It came in excellent shape, tip top shape. I've literally put this over, I put it in this pot, just decorative pot, just popped it down in there and it's been like that for this long. Now today I probably will water it because it does feel dry. But otherwise, it's so healthy. It looks so good. There's new leaves coming in. It's, yeah. So, all of these orders have been satisfactory. I have had no issues with any of them. Everything has came well packaged, healthy, good to go. So, the last plant I want to show you is, um, I'm not going to move it over here. I'm just going to show you the plant. Um, and it is a Monstera. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about what's going on with my Monstera business. So, um, I have had a number of Monsteras, probably about five, six, maybe. Um, and I've had some that I got that were smaller, and I had to kind of like combine with other uh, Monsteras. I've took cuttings, trying to save a Monstera. Uh, at this point, I have one Monstera that I've had for a while. I've had it for about a year, and it's right here. Um... To me, it's not doing very well. It's doing okay. It's just, like, I want my monster to get big leaves. And I know that that takes time. I know you have to be patient with that. But what happens with every time I get a monster, I have bought one. I just bought one, like, two months ago. And it died. It died root rot. I guess it was my fault because I repotted it. And I watered it. And I repotted it again because the pot was too big. And just... Just a lot of stuff, just messing up the plant, it's pro which is probably my fault. I'm not blaming anyone but myself. However, I just got a re another one. This is my new Monstera. I ordered this from Lowe's. Um, I got it in about a week or so, something like that. So this um, is my new one. She looks really healthy. She came in very healthy. What I'm going to do with this one is the same thing that I'm doing with all the other plants, and that is leaving it in its nursery pot. I'm not repotting that plant. I'm going to leave it alone. I slapped it in that, in the pot that it's in, as just like the cover, the decorative, I mean the um, nursery pot. Popped it in there and I'm just going to leave it alone, let it hang out, water it when it needs to be watered, you know, and just leave it alone. No repotting, no fooling around with it, no moving it. This spot right here I feel like is a good spot. I don't need to move it again. Is, will be fine. So, um, maybe I'll come back and update you guys on how that process is going for me. But, um, I just cannot seem to get a Monstera to flourish. Um, the one I have here, I mean, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. You know, I just want it to be a little more 
I want more. I want it to be more. You know what I mean? I want it to get bigger. I want the leaves to get bigger. And it's just kind of limp. And I don't like the way it just hangs. And, you know, again, this is... I'm going to leave this one alone, too. Leave it in its spot. Let it do what it's doing. And we'll, we're going to see, you know, what happens. So, that concludes my haul. Those are all the plants that I wanted to show you. Um, I will be doing some repotting. So, if you're interested in seeing what I'm repotting, why I'm repotting, and all that information, keep watching. Okay, I'm back. So I decided to just bring you guys down to my basement. Um, this is my little repotting table that my husband made me. Um, I uh, didn't really want to do it down here because it's so dark. However, I think that, you know, I've kind of tested a little bit the footage. I think that it's good enough. You guys can see what I'm doing. I use this big clay tray to repot my plants. So what I'm doing is I'm going to combine this this is, okay, so what happened was I had a long um, philodendron in Brazil, just one stem. This is it right here. And I repotted it in this pot one day. And then I kept messing with it, and I ended up dropping it, and it just snapped off this whole piece. I was so, I was so devastated. Ever since then, I've been on a mission to find a philodendron in Brazil. So, um... I'm just going to go ahead and combine all of this together. This was in here because this is actually growing because there's roots in here. This, the new one that I got, and then what, whatever in this is actually a philodendron Brazil. As we know, this is not a full philodendron Brazil. So I'm going to combine that as well. Um, but I'm a little, I don't know, a little confused because this philodendron Brazil, even the one I had before, looks a lot darker than the new one I got as you can see like the green is very very dark but these were all labeled as a philodendron Brazil so I don't know I guess we'll just have to see they're all going to go together I'm just going to put them together I'm not going to worry about it so let me stop all the rambling and get started so let's see I think the first thing that would probably be a good idea to do is kind to to kind of assess where we are with this hanging basket. So I'm going to take these hooks off because I think I'm going to use a bigger one. Um, I have one here that I've had for other plants and I like these, this little hanging thing. I like this one better because you can spin it and I always save those whenever I like repot a plant that was in one of those. I like those better than these but I still save all of these because these you know are very good for hanging pot on um, plants. So I'm just going to pull this out. And it came out pretty easily. Now I have an empty pot. I'm going to keep the pot. Like I said, I keep these pots because I never know when I'm going to need them. But, um, so, okay. So, now we can see exactly what is going on here. So look, this is one plant, which is the philodendron, heart-shaped philodendron. And this is the Brazil. As you can see, it is absolutely two different plants like without a doubt two different plants wow that's amazing so anyway let's stick that in there because I have a philodendron heart shaped philodendron Brazil so I'm going to put that in that plant with that that I already have because um, there's, there's no point in making several different plants so I'm just going to combine all of this stuff together I'm just that's all I'm just combining it all together into one pot um, and I'm going to just use all the dirt that I have here because I should be able to hopefully have enough dirt to do all this. There's that one, sticking that in there. Now this is my long philodendron Brazil, the one I lost. I tried to propagate it. It's taking forever to get any roots going so I'm just going to stick it in here and hope for the best because um, you know I don't want to I just want to try to see if I can make it work with what I have um, but what I've learned is what I well what I've um, when I'm doing some research on like pothos plants like these kind of plants is that they do like to be compacted and kind of bunched together that's how you can get a nice full like hanging plant 
is putting more plants in, combining more plants together. So I figure, you know what, this will work, this should work out perfectly because that's exactly what I'm about to do. I'm about to combine all of this together and try to get me a nice, robust uh, philodendron Brazil. So you guys can be my witness that this is this was done today, and I have to come back later on and show you guys how much it's it is or is not flourishing. So um, I'm probably going to need some more soil. I have my soil down here in a big tote. I keep my soil in a tote. I mix a, I mix my stuff, my mixture together, and kind of keep it in a big tote. So whenever I do need it, it's right you know there and available. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of getting this in here. Now the soil, most of the soil that was in the, the, the hanging basket, the one I got from Home Depot was really like loose and coarse. So with that said, um, I kind of need something a little bit heavier to weigh this down because I can't, you know, I don't want to do too much of this heavy, I mean this coarse soil. So I'm just going to get some soil from my container down there kind of got everything at my fingertips to try to make this as seamless as possible. Um, but yeah, I think this is going to do well. I hope it will. But we're going to see. It's going to go right back in the window where it was. And we're going to see what happens. So, there's that. So let me show you. After I get it all potted up, I'm going to show you what it looks like. And then I want to show you how I water my um, plants when I get them. Um, you know, when I pot them up down here in the basement. Now I have this little long trailing piece. And this is the piece that I'm most worried about because I'm not sure if it's going to survive because it's the piece that doesn't have roots. But we'll see. But anyway, I think, I don't even, I think that might be even heart shaped philodendron. But anyway, I'm not going to worry about that. But this is it. It's all in there it's all filled up and I'm going to now water it so what I do to water my plants well not all my plants but when I repot them I use one of these and I put it in the middle and then put it in the middle and I take my water water all around really well not too much but you know just to make sure it's getting a good watering um, I also have Thrive in this water I keep a little bit of Thrive in it so that you know whatever I do water can get some little extra nutrients and that stuff is supposed to be good for when you repot plants anyway so um, that's why I put it in there. So, there's that. So what I'm doing, the reason why I put it on this, and I put it in the middle so that if there's too much water in it, the water will drain out. And so that could be draining and doing what it needs to do while I go on to the next plant. So the next plant I'm going to repot is my Hoya Australis I got from Gabriel's, Gabriella's. Um, it is in very, very good shape, as you can see. Look at the roots. I mean, it's a beautiful looking plant. And I'm going to trellis this because as you can see all these long pieces. I have like four of these long um, pieces here. So I think it would be a good idea to go ahead and get this on a trellis. So I don't want to disturb the root system too much. Um, I just kind of broke it up just a bit. And then the soil that came with it, I put it back in here. I always, I don't really, I usually keep my soil because I just feel like, I don't know, I don't really feel like, it depends. It depends on the condition of the soil. Now, there has been times when, no, you won't want to keep soil, certain soil, because it's a hot mess. You know, it's, it's dried out, it's got all kinds of crap in it or whatever. Um, so just, just kind of play that by ear. You know, kind of use your own discretion on how you should, what you should do about the soil that the plant comes with. 
I mean, sometimes fresh soil is good, but then a lot of times these plants do come with fresh soil. Um, so I guess it just depends on, like I said, the condition of the plant, what it's looking like, what you think you should do, and things like that. I was going to fertilize with this, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to just repot these, let them chill out, and I'll maybe fertilize the next time I water. I don't want to do too much to these plants, you know. I don't want to take a chance of, you know, messing them up because I pay a lot of money for these plants. I'm not trying to waste my money. I've already had that experience. Like that plant, the Hoya that I got, the Obavada, I think that's how you, what you call it. That one's dead. That one is completely dead. So I have these trellises that I got, I've had for quite some time. And I'm finally going to put them to use, I think. Um, I'm just curious to see how how big they are. Because this plant is not, I mean, it's not huge. But um, it does definitely need a trellis. But these you can kind of like, you can layer them. So I'm just going to stick it in. I think I'm going to put it right here. And I'm just going to let the plant kind of go which way it wants to go. I like this. I really like this, actually. Um, I'm not going to let the plant go which way it wants to go. That's a lie. I'm going to put it the way I want it to go. Because this plant is really, like, going crazy here. But I think that this trellis is going to be really good for this one. So, I'm just going to find good spots to put it. The best spots to put it. Just that one. And then I got one more that's kind of long that I want to put on the trellis as well. But, it's kind of in a weird spot. Um, so I'm not sure if this is that will work out very well. But, let's see. Let's just see. I don't want to force it. Oh yeah, it's cool. Oh, it's cute. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. I think I want to put this through one more time, though. I don't want to over trellis it, so that's why I'm not trying to, like, use another one. So, I'm just going to let that hang out and do what it wants to do. That looks good. I think that looks good. So, this needs watered, of course. Now, this, this trellis is, it came with all this stuff, all these clips and stuff, but I don't need all this. It's too much. I just will need that one little, just a little trellis just to kind of get it in a good spot. So, so this is obviously, um... Damn, that philodendron barely has any any roots on it. The one, one little piece just came out and didn't even have no roots really. Oh boy. So I want to give this a good watering. I want to make sure the water is getting down all the way through the plant. So once it comes out of the bottom, then it will be good. And then this is going to be next to be watered. Now this one, I do want to put this in the other plant I was talking about. That I have upstairs. Um, so now you can see the water is coming out the bottom of this. Now I could take this this off this bottom part so that they can all really get out. And yeah, I'm doing that. Yeah, take it all off. So see all that water. Get all that through. Now that's all coming out, and that's good. That's what I want. Okay, so here's my philodendron, heart shaped philodendron. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to take this apart or nothing. I'm just going to find a spot because this has a lot of like emptiness, like in the middle. So I'm just going to try to find a little spot in here. I can just stick this in there. You know what I mean? Because this has a root ball, but half of this can be broken up. But this, I mean, it's not that much there. Yeah, see? I, I'll reduce that down to that. 
So I'm pretty sure I can find a spot to shove this in here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to shove it in there. I hope it grows. And I got this piece that doesn't really have any roots on it, but whatever. I said this plant, I can't believe they did that. Like, that's really crazy. But, is what it is. Somebody that doesn't know plants at all, you know, wouldn't know that. But, at the same time, it's kind of nice, because in a way I kind of ended up with two plants. But, not really, because... Um, you know, this plant is not two plants. It's just going to be combined with another plant. I mean, I could have made it into another plant, separate plant, but I'm not doing that. I didn't want to do that, so so leave it alone. But I'm not too mad because it kind of filled out that middle part here on my philodendron Brazil. Because my philodendron Brazil, pretty much the middle part was almost bare. I had like kind of stacked it in there, put more like put more of the leaves in on the top to kind of give it make it fuller at the top but it wasn't really full so that actually kind of worked out good so I ain't too mad about that so this one's done this one has been watered so what I want to do is I'm gonna take this water that's in here and pour it into this Hoya and then I'm gonna stick that there to let that drain out if it's too much. And then, but for this one, I'm going to go ahead and get this back on. my philodendron brazil hopefully it's all right once you know this is all said and done let me put that back on and get this upstairs in my windowsill pretty much where it already was and that's it so I'm just going to get all these babies back where they were, and that is it. I'm going to end this video here, because I need to clean up. i got extra dirt and all that jazz. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification button. Don't forget that, so that you know when I put out new videos. I really do appreciate your support. Until next time, stay safe and stay home.